you're talking about Theatre Ontario on mm -hmm. this diversity thing. I'm curious because we always we're in the middle of an election. We always talk about the difference between the you know in the Toronto sense the 416 yeah. versus the 905 yeah. versus the 705 and by the you know. So Theatre Ontario is theory for Ontario. Did you see? I'm wondering if there were tensions between those who were promoting inclusion from the 416 area and then the out, areas outside that traditionally, politically, have been less active in terms of re rebuilding their images of who they are. Yeah. Did you see any of that in Theatre Ontario? I, not really. Okay, good. Um, uh, I, uh, th uh, Theatre Ontario um, is I interesting in that it, it represents and serves both professional and, and community theatre. So um, I didn't experience that per se. Because um, I just did a little, uh, you know, Curtain Club of Richmond Hill is a really wonderful Curtain yeah. Club, and I worked there when I was, a, yeah. I was there, whatever, whatever, and they were doing their 50th anniversary or something, and I'm fine, I got up and held up. All white. Yeah. I went, when? It's 2018. It's Richmond Hill. It's and all white. Yeah. I'm sorry, there were probably one or two faces. Yeah. But, but what? And it just felt... It's like they're going to have to do all that work there too. It's like because that's been done on a municipal level in Toronto, right? Right. The TAC was very strong and under Rita Davies was really strong and proactive in terms of uh, cultural diversity. Right. Yeah, and and TAC really led the way. I I feel like the Toronto Arts Council was, in terms of uh, proactive measures, TAC was first, then followed by OAC, followed by Canada Council. It starts. It's the lo starts locally. Everything starts locally. Everything that's that's got power.